Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Cropper here. I think the Ayn Rand Institute needs teeth. Um, I took a course there, a writing course, long ago, 10, 12 years ago or something like that now. Keith Lockage was the instructor. And I came to conclude that I'm not supposed to be there. I thought, this isn't for me. This is for somebody else. And I might should be teaching here or else I should be off in the world using my knowledge. I don't need to be here trying to get whatever it is they're trying to impart. That was my conclusion. So I left and didn't look back and didn't worry about it. Now I'm thinking these things through here. And, and for example, um, uh, Charles II is impatient with the AIRI, thinks it's very milk toast, and um, Rucka Rucka mentions these things, and, uh, you know, we all support the ARI. <laughs> Charles, too, said the only thing he hates more than the Ayn Rand Institute is its critics, <laughs> which is a, that's a great position to be in, I'm sure. And, and I'm in a position where I'm not angry at them, I don't hate them, I'm just uh, impatient. I'm like, well, what's going on? Like, how, like how much time do we have? <laughs> We have millions of years, um, so I think it needs teeth. Now, how do we get that to happen? I don't know if we can get it to happen. Maybe I'm just talking out of my butt here. But one of the possibilities is, what, my, what it occurs to me, what is the Atlas Society? What are they doing? You know, What are these different things? Are they a thing? Are they a different thing? Is there something I don't know about? Is there somebody who said the Ayn Rand Institute needs teeth, and they went out and started... Uh, whatever it is, the Atlas Society or something. So if I don't know about somebody who's doing something like that, uh, please tell me in the comments. But I don't differ from the Ayn Rand Institute the way that David Kelly differed from Leonard Peikoff or something like that. I just want it to have teeth. How do we do that? Here's my, the, at the back of my mind, here's the thing that I'm thinking. I'm thinking, where would I go to learn something? That would be a hell of a school. So maybe that's the place that we need to build. Uh, uh, I, Mr. Cropper, personally wanted to be a professor at a college, and the colleges and universities are just insane, and we all know that. I knew it 10 years ago. I knew it 15 years ago when I was attending there. I said, this is insane. And everybody else said, what do you mean? It's college. Everybody's got to go to college. And I said, no, it's a bunch of socialists. It's a socialist training camp in there. And everybody said, oh, but you got to get your degree. You need your degree. So that's what I think of college. What if we had a college for objectivists? And, it, it, you know, I, I kind of thought that's what the Ayn Rand Institute was doing. But it seems like they're just trying to give, it's like, um, you need to be able to write, so we're going to teach kids how to write. And... They do it in a very good way and stuff, but, I, you know, I just don't know. I don't know how to criticize all that. I've put that much thought into it. But I, I um, am willing to talk about or think about something like this. If we had an online objectivist university um, where objectivists, you, where you basically have to be an objectivist to check in and study, um, and the material we study is not remedial. It's not like, because in high school, really, most people didn't learn to write well. So we could have a remedial writing course at the Ayn Rand Institute where you learn to write and, and where you learn to think about things in a clear manner while you're writing and, and write in an organized manner and stuff. That's fine. That's not what I want to do. I don't want to remediate the damage our culture has done. I want to take people who have already remediated the damage the culture has done, and they want to get on a rocket ship and go to the moon or Mars with their knowledge. That's what I want to do. I don't want to fix or repair holes in their ships. Uh, so, I, I, obviously I think that would be online. We're not going to start a brick-and-mortar college somewhere. So that's an option. Maybe that's what I'm going to do is teach online courses of hardcore material. And then the thought occurs to me, well, why not just put the videos up like Jordan Peterson just puts his up and like I used to put up hours and hours and hours of information. If people want it, they can watch it. Why do we need a course, a one-on-one -on -one course of some kind? 
So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how we'll go about that. But, there we are. The ARI needs teeth. How do we do that? With Do we reform the ARI? I'm not involved in the ARI, and they, they don't know me from Adam or Eve, so um, I, I don't have authority to say anything like that. Or do we start a new thing? What thing do we start? Have they already started that new thing? Is that the Atlas Society or something? All right, this is the conversation I seek to have.